this one the man? Okay, these are both pictures of the same thing. So there's two pictures because we have two holes in the umbrella up here and I stuck a little stick in it and made it extra round. And whenever you have a hole in something like that, you end up with a, a picture on the opposite side. And that's how our eyeballs work, actually. Ah. You know, you, you have that little black dot in the middle of your eye, that's a, that's a hole. Although there's a lens there, so you can't put anything in your eyeball, but don't try it, because it would hurt. But it lets light through that little hole, and at the back of your eyeball, it, it, it gets an image, kind of like this paper's getting an image up there. And then, okay. and then your brain can figure out what the image on the back of your eyeball is. And that's how you see the world. Pretty cool, huh? And this is the moon just coming in on this side. So if you looked up at the sun right now and your eyes could actually handle that much brightness, that's the picture you'd see. You'd see it wouldn't be a round sun. It'd have a chunk missing out of it. Although even looking through my sunglasses, all of my sunglasses, it is still too bright. But if we look through my welding thing, my welding shield, all right, let me see if I can find my welding thing. I think I know where it is. Before. All right. Oh, yeah. Wow, that looks way better. You want to see? Yeah. All right. Put it on your head. Now look straight up at the sun. Oh, and it won't hurt your I eyes. It's pretty cool, eh? I, I guess I better that? stick the camera in there, too. All right, camera. Let's see if we can get this lined up right. That might still be too bright for the camera. Ah! Come on, camera. Change your... How do you... Hmm. All right, I just changed the camera settings to see if that helps. I don't think it can change enough. Come on, man. That's about almost halfway there. Okay, the bright greenish part, that's the sun. And the black thing is the moon. Yeah, that's why there's a big chunk token out of it. Yeah, so there's the sun there. It's supposed to be a soft hole, but there's a big chunk token out. Yeah, the big chunk is where the moon is blocking the sun, right? Now it's getting noticeably darker. It's also been getting cooler, which is kind of nice. I don't want to look at it with the... Uh, the camera is terrible. There's kind of a cool effect of the sun coming through the trees. Mighty close now. You know, I was thinking about how in ancient times the crazy kings would collect all the people and say, Watch me make the sun disappear. Because, you know, supposedly they had people who could predict when the eclipses were coming. Although, I don't think you really need to predict it. Like, all you need to do is, somewhere in your castle or whatever, have a hole in the ceiling and tell all your subjects, at least, you know, the ones who are in on the trick, hey, hey, you guys, if you ever see the, 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 the disc of the sun start getting a bite out of it, call everyone. Maybe we have about two hours before we get an eclipse, right? Yeah. <laughs> this has been going on for a couple hours now, something like that. And then, of course, the king gets up to, gets <laughs> to stand up there and say, Watch me make the sun disappear! Because, like, looking up at the sun right now, you still can't really tell. Like, I just look at it for a second, it's just too bright, I can't see much. Um, it doesn't look like it's an eclipse yet, you know, just to my eyeballs. We've totally got a ring around the moon now. <laughs> I can't, can't pick it up at all. Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It's totally a soft. Um, yeah, I only see a ring. Here, Trey, you want to see? Yeah. 
Here, let her look. It's cold. It's a pole. Well, that's about the best I can do with the camera. <laughs> it's off a little bit right now. Probably need to be blocking it. Sure, I'm appreciating the cooler temperature right now. Circle. There's been a heat wave here and a drought. Yeah, you know, it means it hasn't been raining much. Yeah, you know, the Panama Canal uses fresh water to operate the canal to, up, to fill up the locks, and they must be having a real tough time running out of fresh water. It's barely rained here in like a month. Yeah, they use a lot of water on that canal. Crazy how much water they use. <sighs> Alright, back to work. They're pretty good eyeballs, aren't they? Alright guys, let's go have some lunch. Phew!